I stand by Kyrie. You know, you're not playing this game by anybody else's rules but yours when it comes to your decision process and how you're coming to make that decision. Everybody else has been saying, how come he's not talking? Because he's processing. And for Kyrie Irving, he's allowed the time to process. This is his personal choice, Key. It sounded to me, listening to the IG Live last night and then again this morning, that he understands the consequences that come along with his decision. But there have been a lot of people that have been speculating what Kyrie stands for. Now, somebody can then say, well, he's had optimal time to utilize the podium and to speak his voice. Well, maybe the guy is going through the process of saying, how do I connect with the team? What does the team want me to say? What do I feel comfortable saying? And I'm not going to sit here and tell you that the, the build up, the climax that has happened allows the voice for Kyrie to be bigger on a bigger platform because we've been waiting to hear the voice. Kind of like a politician saying, now that I have everybody's attention, now you need to hear what I say. I think that's smart. But Kyrie has the right to make his own personal choice about this decision. People may not like it, but you don't need to like it. It does not matter. This is Kyrie's choice about what he deems he feels important to make his own decision. You I know what? That's very important to say, Key. Yeah, yeah, that, that is. And you know what, Jay? He calculated it perfectly because there are so many people out there, as you alluded to, that wants to speak for professional athletes, especially in this situation for Kyrie. That's why I was never one that stepped out there. I'm going to wait to hear that man speak before I start talking because I can't just assume that he's going to quit in millions of dollars of there or he's going to back out on his teammates and he's not going to get vaccinated or he is vaccinated. All the, all the narratives and all the different things that's out in the universe that people are saying about Kyrie. I don't know Kyrie, so I can't make that claim. All I know is that people say that he's a little different. That may be the case, but I've never heard him say he wasn't going to do this and do that. Now I got a clear understanding based on what he said on his Instagram story, and we all heard it. And now I can say, okay, but I also heard his teammates say that they've already talked to him and they've met as a unit. That is important to me because that means that they understand that they're on the same page with him and they're going to move forward in their season and they're going to allow him and give him the time that he needs with his family or whoever his people are that he needs to make a decision on, with at the time and place that he's going to take care of the business so he can join the team. Not this, he's this and Kyrie's that and none of that. I, I, I am 100% with him. He wants the time. It's his platform now. He's got it. He's given us all the information that he wanted to give us about why he's taking the time to do what he's doing. And in such due time, when he joins the team, if and when he does it, they'll keep playing basketball, and he'll join them and try to help them win. That's, that's, that's what the message is to me, opposed to trying to sit there and say that Kyrie wants to pass some money or Kyrie's going to retire. He simply said that's not the case, so that's what I got to believe and take it with face value. A couple things here. Um, number one, in America, I would fight for anyone's right to say you're not sticking something in my arm that I don't want there, period. No one's going to stick anything in your arm you don't want there. And if Kyrie's like, nope, this is my body, you're not putting anything in there, I'm with it. And I would fight for that, for, you know, like, no, no, that's his choice. But there are consequences to your decisions. Mm -hmm. And, for example, if you come into work, an employer also has the responsibility to keep other employees safe. Um, and, you know, if you recall Dr. Fauci originally with the vaccines, the speed with which we get everyone vaccinated is important. It is a public health crisis. You hear a lot of people saying these are private decisions. Okay, but it is a public health crisis. They have an effect on it has an effect on people around you. But Kyrie is absolutely right in terms of his process, his decision. That's a, that's a personal matter. But then you don't get to come into work right now. That's the first thing. The second thing is Max, when you he just, says, You don't get to come into work in San Francisco, in New and York. In New York, that's right. In New York, okay. That's right. But other people get to come into work. I just that, want to clarify that, that point for that's, you. That, that's right. Okay, okay. And 
And in fact, if we had mandates all over the country, many more people would be vaccinated, we'd be in a better position. That's the first thing. That's according to the consensus of the scientific community says that. Overwhelming consensus worldwide. Now, and, and this kind of like impression that's left that's it's too controversial to talk about, it's not. There's overwhelming consensus in the scientific community about this. Now, that said, that doesn't mean that someone doesn't get to make a private decision, they do. And it also doesn't mean that Kyrie has to be on everyone else's timetable. He's right about that, too. It's on his, like, wait, wait a minute. Just because the media needs something, because they need something on sports media the next day, I need to make, no, 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 no. I'll do it when I want to do it. However, there are also consequences to behavior in that sense if you're a public figure. If you're a public figure and you have access to your IG Live any moment you want it, it's tough for people to hear you didn't even have a chance to address this publicly, because you have a chance to address it publicly whenever you want. You choose not to, that's your choice, that's sure, but then it's hard to complain about speculation, because of course people are gonna speculate. I agree with you on the speculation part, um, but you also have to understand, and, and, and Key, oh, yes. this is just how athletes are built, and it, naturally, I don't think Kyrie Irving is a politician, man. I don't think, you know, Kyrie held up a piece of paper last night in his IG, and he said, here are all my points that I wanted to get it across. But you felt like Kyrie was talking more from the heart. So as it relates to being a politician, I know we have to go and we'll continue this in the next segment. Like politicians are very strategic with how they say things. Kyrie was talking more from the heart. And as an athlete, when you hear people say things about you, you take things personally. I'm not saying it makes it right, but it's naturally how you are programmed from the time you've been younger, because that serves as motivation for you. But we'll continue this conversation. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.